In the first part, we were talking about Jonah and his call of the Lord and how he tried to escape and run away. And we learned a wonderful lesson, never run from the Lord. But if you did, come back to the Lord. Don't stay astray for long, but just come back to the Father. Now, Jonah came into Nineveh. And let's talk about Nineveh, about this great city, and why Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh. There is a reason why. Nineveh was a big, actually a huge city. It was really advanced and it had a population of about 600,000 people. And we know that God didn't want to destroy it. Well, for ancient days, it was a massive city, very, very big city, extremely big city. And God didn't want to destroy it. But why Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh? Interesting. Nineveh was full of Gentiles and it was a strong city. So it was potential danger for Israel. Because if any empire rose in the land of Israel, around the land of Israel, they would be a potential enemy and they would come to attack Israel. So first of all, Jonah didn't want to go to Gentiles because God tell, him, tell us, give us commandments in the Old, and Old Testament, don't go to Gentiles, don't mix the Gentiles. So he didn't like Gentiles, but also he didn't want this big city to be spared. Actually, he won judgment. He was judgment. And there, right there is a wonderful lesson, but let's see how God gave him these important lessons. Jonah the prophet took his time he was walking in the city, proclaiming judgment. Judgment is coming. God is going to judge your city for your sins. You sinners, that's your end. You will see judgment of the Lord. And Jonah continued to proclaim the judgment of God again and again and again. And then he went out to see judgment. He really, literally, he went out of the city. He was sitting on the hill and watching and waiting. Lord, I want to see how the fire will come from heaven, how the destructions will come from heaven. And he was sitting there. But something happened in the city. Today, we would call it revival. Revival just broke in and even King, when he heard words of Jonah, he said, let's repent and fast and pray and change our ways. Maybe Lord will give his mercy. Maybe Jehovah, God of Israel, will show us his, his mercy. We don't want to die. And they were crying to the Lord and praying. And what? God visited city of Nineveh with repentance. They all turned from their wicked ways. But Jonah, he was sitting out and waiting, and then it was, in Hebrew we call it, Hamsin. Very hot wind came, and he was just dying. And then God did a miracle. Bush appeared and grew very quick. Jonah found the shade, and he was enjoying the shade. It was much better, still waiting for the judgment of the Lord. And then, miracle happened again. The bush have died and Jonah was dying from the heat of the day. And he was crying to the Lord, he, was, he wanted to die. He basically wanted to die. And then God spoke to Jonah. Bible says Jonah was displeased and he was angry because revival came to the city. And then he said to God, You are a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness one who relents from doing harm. Can you imagine if there is any nation or people or country that are doing bad, maybe starting war against other countries and doing bad. And what we think, what we feel, this nation have to be destroyed. This nation have to be punished. Punishment have to come from heaven. But Bible says God thinking differently. He want revival. He want repentance. He want even evil people turn around and come to the Lord. That's a beautiful lesson how God loves the nations and people and doing everything to save you and to save the nations of the earth. Okay, Guy, what did you learn from Jonah's lessons? I have learned three things. The first one is not to run away from God's calling. The second one is that we don't need to wait for too long until we turn to God. The third thing is we should not wish any harm to our enemies, but preach the gospel and hope for their salvation. Great. Jonah's story teaches us about merciful and loving God. Next episode, we're going to study biblical hero from the New Testament, and let's see what God's going to teach us. Shalom from Jaffa.